quest for the NBA championship has begun. That quest began with 16 teams, but the field was quickly narrowed to just two. And while the Eastern Conference had its share of strong teams and star players, all eyes were on last year's champions. Titles are titles. Shaq and I are here together, and we're going to win this thing together. And uh, that's how it's going to be. But the Lakers would have to defend their crown from a host of hungry contenders, as teams around the league were ready to make their mark in the playoffs. The crowd is definitely into that. But you got to get on the level of intensity right now. You got to be a man out there and go to work. Each team in the playoffs was working toward one common goal, and this year's field proved to be one of the strongest ever as they all battled for their chance at championship glory. You don't beat them on offense, you beat them with defense and effort. So join us as we take a look back at the emotion, competition, and rivalries of the 2001 NBA Playoffs. The 2001 Playoffs featured plenty of familiar faces. They were proven veterans who had seen their share of postseason battles. And they look to add to their legacies with one more drive for a championship. But it was also a new era, a time for some red-hot young stars to enter the spotlight. Iverson, how good is he? Baron Davis! Oh my goodness! Oh, beauty! Michael Finley climbs the ladder. Ray Allen, too. He's got smooth game. In the first round, Vince Carter took center stage as Toronto faced the Knicks. The Raptors hoped to avoid a repeat of last year's playoff elimination by New York. And thanks to Carter, it was mission accomplished. You know, monkeys off our back. You know, we're, we're moving on to bigger and better things. Allen Iverson and the 76ers met their nemesis, Reggie Miller and the Pacers. With Dikembe Mutombo's defense and Iverson working his magic, the Sixers got past the team that had knocked them out of the playoffs two straight years. Jamal Mashburn faced his old team as Charlotte took on favored Miami, and Mash led the Hornets to a stunning upset. Rebound tipped by Eddie Robinson, and Mashburn is there. Nice pass to Campbell. What a play by Jamal Mashburn. The Hornets have swept the Miami Heat out of the NBA playoffs. Ray Allen and the Bucks, a player and a team on the rise, captured their first round series against Orlando. Utah is a playoff fixture. Dallas, a newcomer. The difference in experience showed as the Jazz took the first two games, but the Mavericks battled back at home. Finley around the pick by Nash. Oh! oh Finley! Holy and foul. foul! What a play! With the series tied at two, game five came down to the final seconds and an improbable hero. Inside, count the boot! And the Mavs take the lead! Utah would have one last chance to win it, but the Jazz couldn't deliver. Stockton, out to the wall! Oh, a spectacular history-making comeback! Have won it 84 to 83! Chris Webber and the Kings were dreaming of playoff success after two straight first-round defeats. And against Phoenix, Sacramento was dominating at both ends of the court. Get on the run out! It seemed as if everything was going right for Sacramento as they wrapped up the series in four games. And for the first time in his NBA career, Chris Webber had advanced to the second round of the playoffs. Meanwhile, two of the best in the West were on a collision course as the Spurs and Lakers stampeded through the first two rounds of the playoffs. After sweeping Portland in round one, the Lakers were spectacular once again versus the Kings. Look at this, Bryant! What a play! What a play! What a play! The Lakers soared to a four-game sweep. What a great play by Shaq, come down the floor grinning. The Spurs were also on a roll. Oh, baby! Eliminating Minnesota, then Dallas. In the East, the Hornets faced the Bucks in a classic matchup. 
Milwaukee won the first two games at home and looked like they just might run away with the series. Ray Allen out of there with it. And he finishes. <laughs> and he goes down. We're about to go into those infested waters. It's like, you know, being out there with a bunch of sharks. I'm sure there's going to be a raucous crowd down there in Charlotte. The crowd was raucous, inspiring Charlotte to two straight wins to even the series. And one of the keys to the Hornets' success was their young guard, Baron Davis. Surprised to the hoops by Baron Davis. You better stay focused and into every possession, every time in the 48 minute advance. Facing elimination in game six, Ray Allen came through. Back out there, Allen, a three in the air. Ray drills it. He hit the three pointer, and the Bucks have gone in front. 197. If the Bucks broke Charlotte's hearts in game six, they broke their spirits and won the series in game seven. Robinson to the front court, running three pointer. Good! It was time to rejoice in Milwaukee as the Bucks advanced to the conference finals. Making the playoffs, we wasn't satisfied with that anymore, so we wanted to go out and win, and now we're winning in the playoffs, and there's nothing like winning at this time of year. After six grueling games, the Sixers and Raptors were tied. Game seven was an epic, both teams fighting with everything they had. Fittingly, this was a battle that wouldn't be decided until the very end. It all comes down to the final play. Sixers by one, Raptors with the ball. Curry has it. Carter trying to get free. Carter at the buzzer. No good. And the Sixers hold on. Begins. Last year was old news, and being that we won, you know we, we know that you know we couldn't afford to, to do the same thing. So coming into this year, players, we've been all business. The 1999 NBA champions versus the 2000 champions, the showdown between the San Antonio Spurs and the Los Angeles Lakers. The Western Conference had produced the last two NBA champions, the Los Angeles Lakers and the San Antonio Spurs. Now, they met for another chance at the title. The San Antonio Spurs win their first ever NBA championship. This is a series everybody wants right now. Uh, I don't know if, if, if we wanted it or, or, or they wanted it, it, it was going to happen. It's just going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be very exciting, very electric. This is going to be a difficult round, difficult test for us, but if we do what we're supposed to do, <clears throat> I love our chances. With a string of 15 straight wins, Kobe Bryant and the Lakers look to keep rolling, and in game one, they raced out to the early lead over the Spurs. Off the steal, it's a two-on-one, Fisher locks it for Bryant. Kobe Bryant, seven straight. The Spurs tried to keep their home court advantage intact, led by their twin towers, David Robinson and Tim Duncan. San Antonio rallied in the fourth quarter, but the Lakers held on, thanks to Kobe, who would finish with 45 points. Bryant, the tip of the We've seen it all from Kobe Bryant today. I told Kobe today he was my idol. You know, he's playing like that, scoring, getting everybody involved, and playing good defense. There's nothing you can say. Well, we want to win game two. I mean, there's, you're not going to stop just because you get one win. We really think that, you know, uh, if they're on their heels, if they have any doubts, we want to come out and be really aggressive on Monday night. But the Spurs were determined to rebound from their defeat. They came out strong in game two and maintained the lead for most of the way. Tim Duncan inside. Nothing they can do about that. TDs in close range. 
But the Lakers responded as Kobe and Shaq would share the spotlight with the team's role players. It was Robert Ory and Derek Fisher who shined down the stretch. And Ory with a shot clock down, turns the Spurs big time. Fisher over David, and that should do it. The Lakers win it by seven after winning the first one by 14. If you want to be a champion, you better figure out how to dig yourself out of these type of holes. I mean, we did it last time, and, and you know, I just believe in this team. I think we got the, all the tools to get out of this hole. As the series shifted to Los Angeles, the Spurs tried to shift the momentum. But they had no answers for Bryant and O'Neal, who combined for 71 points. The Lakers made it look easy as they cruised to victory. Bryant looks inside, he's fouled. Score it and one. Another move by Kobe Bryant in the paint. See a look of resignation in their eyes. You got licked big time, and uh, give them credit for what they accomplished. They did a hell of a job. On the brink of their third consecutive playoff sweep, the Lakers were ready to close out the series in Game 4. One, two, three, hey! The Lakers were playing like champions, getting contributions from everyone. And on this night, the hero for L.A. would be Derek Fisher, who hit six of seven three-point attempts for a game-high 28 points. He shoots the three-pointer like he means it. He hit it! He hit another one! Fisher nails another one! Timeout! San Antonio! When he wasn't shooting, Derek was setting up his teammates, and the Lakers were putting on a show as they advance to the finals for the second straight season. Shaquille puts it down, leads the break, back to Shaq. Oh, brother! They're putting San Antonio out of their misery. Los Angeles Lakers running the table for the first three rounds of the playoffs. 19 straight wins. You know, goal right now is just, you know, four more wins. So, whoever our opponent is, you know, we just want to try to continue to do the same thing and, you know, just get back to uh, what we had last year. This year's Eastern Conference Finals pitted the Philadelphia 76ers against the Milwaukee Bucks. As the Milwaukee Bucks advanced through the early rounds of this year's playoffs, they began to rekindle memories of the early success of the franchise. Bucks are one of the top three winning franchises in the history of the NBA. Philadelphia also has a winning tradition, one that's been embraced by coach Larry Brown and his team. There's so many unbelievable teams and players that came from this city that I'd like us to be special. The thing that excites me the most is not the fact that you know we might win a championship, because I think our team night in and night out plays the way these people can be proud of. A lot of people felt like I couldn't reach this point. Now that, you know, all those guys, are, you know, I'm thinking about those guys right now. Just trying to finish it out. Allen Iverson had a chance to silence his doubters on the stage of the Eastern Conference Finals. In Game 1, the man known as The Answer sparked the Sixers' attack and left the Bucks searching for answers on how to stop him. All I care about is at the end of the game, who won and who lost. And I put everything that I got, you know, inside me out there on the court and I'll leave it out there regardless if I'm over 35. As long as we win, it don't matter. And Philadelphia did win game one with help from center Dikembe Mutombo, who controlled the middle. But game two would be a different story. The Bucks had something to prove and they even the series thanks to 38 points from their own star, Ray Allen. So Ray Allen has absolutely dominated the last five minutes of game action. By no means is this uh, us or Milwaukee Bucks series because we got a lot of basketball left in this series and we gotta come out and we gotta come out fighting. As the series moved to Milwaukee, the hometown fans found many different ways to show their support for the Bucks. Their hopes were high, especially with Iverson sidelined by an injury. Philadelphia looked to Matumbo to carry the load. But the Bucks were simply too much. Milwaukee's Ray Allen skywalking underhand scoop by Ray Allen is good. Wow, what a play by Allen. You know, my basketball team wins in a lot of ways. And if you're going to try to predict statistically how we're going to win, you're, you're kind of crazy. Point guard Sam Cassell, who won two championships in Houston, used his playoff experience to help lead the Bucks. Ball down. Cassell, top shot, he puts it in. 10 point Milwaukee lead. 
Milwaukee fans saw their team take a two games to one lead. And heading into game four, Cassell and the Bucks were feeling good about their chances. But the Sixers also had something to smile about with the return of Allen Iverson. And the league MVP would give his team a big lift. Iverson led a balanced attack and fueled a Philadelphia victory that evened the series. A one-man wrecking crew. Is the middle fella tough or what? Down the middle gets cracked and still gets it in. The 76ers are still active defensively. That's rejected by Matumbo. Get it out of here. The Sixers also took game five, leaving them one win away from the finals. I'm going to go home and hug my wife and smell my kids. I don't know if we have anything left to win the next game. But whatever happens, you know, the East is going to be well represented. But Milwaukee responded in game six. With Ray Allen hitting six three-pointers, the Bucks built a huge lead and held on to force a seventh game. Ray Allen hits another one. Boy, he's got it off flow. Ooh. It's a wonder that ball doesn't explode in his hands. His hands are so hot. Larry is a great coach, and he's going to make adjustments. And what worked tonight, guess what? Probably won't work in game seven. I know this team. There's no quitting this team. And we're going to give it our best shot in game seven. The guts and the courage and the intensity of the NBA are going to be out on the floor. The tension was evident as the Sixers prepared for Game 7 with a trip to the NBA Finals at stake. And as always, it was Iverson who ignited Philadelphia. The Bucks with just a continuing problem. And he got it! Oh yeah! Here he comes. He's doing it all here in the fourth quarter. Right in the thick of the purple painted box. And he scored it. Finally, the celebration could begin for the team and the city. With their 108-91 victory, the Sixers captured a hard-fought series and earned their first trip to the finals since 1983. Hey, yo, man. Y'all boys ain't no joke, man. I love y'all, man. I love y'all. This coach first time, man. Let's make it a good one. Let's make it a good one, man. One, two, three. NBA championship series, it pits the underdog, Philadelphia 76ers against the undefeated in the playoff, Los Angeles Lakers. We here, we know what we have to do. Four more games, take it one game at a time, on period at a time. Let's go out, get the job done. Let's get serious, folks. One, two, three, let's! Let's go! As game one of the finals got underway, the 76ers were ready for the challenge, especially league MVP, Allen Iverson. Allen Iverson tearing the Lakers apart. They cannot put out the fire that is Allen Iverson. Wing jump shot is up and good again. He's too hot, people. This Philadelphia team thinks they can win this game tonight. They're not here to celebrate the Lakers. They're here to beat them. All it's on them. They're supposed to win. We ain't even supposed to be here. But Philadelphia proved they belong with a thrilling overtime win. Here's Allen Iverson outside the arc. He tees up a three. It's good. He drilled it. A three by Allen Iverson. And the Sixers have taken the lead. We keep fighting, keep playing. You know, keep playing together. And anything can happen. You know, we just have to regroup. Uh, you know, they play great. Allen Iverson's a great player. You know, he had a great game. He was really on one of those games for us. And that was a series. After Iverson scored 48 points in game one, the Lakers' plan in game two was to harass him with physical defense. And the strategy worked as the Sixers' leaders struggled throughout the game. It's been a tough night for Iverson. The whole thing with Allen Iverson, you've just got to make him work. You've got to try to frustrate him. Meanwhile, Shaquille O'Neal was standing tall on defense, tying an NBA Finals record with eight block shots. Shaq also found time to set up Kobe Bryant, and Kobe took care of the rest. Here's Kobe in the lane on Aaron McKee, and he slams it with the right hand. Kobe Bryant flies to the air and hammers it home with a right hand dunk. It's like showtime for them guys, and we got to understand, we got to meet their energy. But the energy of Kobe and Shaq was too much for the Sixers. Shaq and Kobe Bryant, the one-two punch coming through. The power and the grace of the Los Angeles Lakers. 
the scene shifted to Philadelphia, where Iverson was fired up for Game 3. But the Lakers opened a big lead as Kobe stirred memories of finals past. Forces one, and oh. nails it! Seven out of seven, oh my, shades of Michael! The Sixers would fight back. Iverson working his way and draws the fight. He gets the ball on the continuation. You think you've got them down, and they just keep coming at you. But the Lakers showed their poise and experience as their supporting cast stopped the Philadelphia rally. Oh, he'll take it. The three out. Whoa. Robert Ory in the face of Philadelphia. Nails a three ball from the left corner. We have players that make critical plays, and uh, you know we're, we're very pleased with uh, the way we respond to pressure and the way we respond to difficult things. We just want to come and beat you, huh? no matter how competitive you are. You are, you know, I don't care who it is. I don't give a damn. After winning Game 3, the Lakers were loose as they prepared for Game 4. But once the game began, Shaq was all business, and he delivered an overpowering performance. Shaquille O'Neal is on fire! He is really painting a portrait down low! With Kobe's finishing touch, L.A. took a 3-1 lead. Kobe says, yeah, baby, let's end this nonsense right here. The Lakers looked to end the series in Game 5, but the Sixers weren't about to give up. There's a hope, there's a will, there's a way. But there was no way to stop the Lakers or Finals MVP O'Neal as L.A. rolled to another championship. Jack power move, can't stop him on that. Fisher one-on-one -on -one with Iverson, two to shoot, Fisher raises up, three ball, got it! A bucket by Derek Fisher, a big time three! So the Los Angeles Lakers prime to pick up 15 wins in this postseason. They will, in the end, have the best postseason record ever. And that'll do it. Back-to-back -back titles for the Los Angeles Lakers. What a moment for the city of Los Angeles and for these Los Angeles Lakers. Come in here and win three straight games on the road. A magnificent finish to an unbelievable playoff run. <laughs> that tested the league's best. In the finals, it came down to two great teams, representing two great cities. They waged a stirring battle for the ultimate prize, with their passion and emotion raising the level of competition. But only one team could survive and call themselves champions. We salute the 2001 NBA champion, Los Angeles Lakers. Congratulations to the world champion, 2001 NBA in Los Angeles. I got up here last year and said we were going to do it again. I'm saying it again. We're going to three-peat. Can you dig it? The world champion. The back-to-back -back world champion.